This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, it goes until midnight tonight, and uh, uh, in a while we'll go into the citizen panels and things like that. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, we'll just let you listen to this jazzy music. Yeah, okay, a little jazzy music there for you. And uh, I am uh, I'm here, oh, wait a minute, I've got to do something. Uh, got to, hold on a second, I have to do this. Uh... Bring this down just a tad. Oh, well, maybe even a little more. Uh, there we go. Because she never, she she refuses to come in early to the show, so that I can then. Well, now I have to move it up. Why would it change from one week to the other? Because you move it? because it, you know, I, I move the screen around, things like that. But you know, now now sit up straight like you were. Oh boy! Hi. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You got to see her. There she is. See, we're trying to frame her so that she looks just right. Uh, she's back. Hmm? She's back. Yeah. She's back. Yeah, she's back. And she, there's her front as well. So <laughs> yeah, she's back. I, I actually had a wonderful time while you were gone. I'm sure. I had all the girlfriends over. Yeah, and you took yeah. over the whole bed. It, it, we took over the whole bed. <laughs> no, you know what? I'll tell you what I did like about you being gone. Okay, can I... I mean, not that I didn't miss you. Let's hear it. Not that I didn't miss you, but, you know, maybe I should make myself a little bigger in the screen. So go ahead. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I want to make myself bigger in the screen because you're taking up more screen than I am. Okay, so let me, uh, wait a minute, hold on a second, what, what, why, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself bigger in the screen here. Uh, let me, I, you know, this actually is a radio show. I really, it really shouldn't matter, should it? Would you get on with it? Actually. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second, Aye. I'm gonna move this back. Hey. Gotta move this back just a little bit. The, on the air sign isn't showing anymore. Uh, but what the hell? We don't care. It it's showed, on. It's on. That's all you care That's about. That's all I care about. Okay, so. So there. what did you like about me gone? There we go. What? What did you like? What did I like about you gone? Okay, yes. let me. Let's hear it all. Huh? Let's hear it all. Wait a minute. It still isn't right. Hold on a second. Got to get it right. Help you Got to get it right. Help. Got to get it right. Help. Just hear it. Now I can pan. I can tilt it. So I can tilt it uh, up or down. Let me see here. Hold on. Hey, come on. There we go. All right. Am I, am I fine now? I'm fine now. Okay. Good. Okay. I just want to make sure my picture looks good. You know, I mean, you know, I'm thinking of doing away with the video on this show. No, I love it. No, I'm thinking of doing away with it because uh, it, it's gotten to the point where it just takes up too much of my attention. I love it. So where I can't pay, t pay attention to the show. Yes, you I can't do. pay attention to what people are saying You're and so on. You're yelling at Phil. But I'm just, no, when I'm just doing a radio thing, it's, it's, you know, it's no real problem. Well, do the so. video when, when I'm on. Huh? <laughs> do the video when I'm nah, on. No, I mean, just do away with the video. No. Altogether. How many people are listening? Yeah, there are some listening. So there. The video. So what did you like about me not being here? Okay. When I would get through with the show, I wouldn't have to go into that dungeon called the guest room. There's nothing wrong because well, your boxes are filled with that. You haven't gone through those boxes. They've been sitting there. That has nothing to do with it. That makes it a dungeon. There is something about being able to go into the bedroom, lie there, and turn on the TV set, and watch some TV, and get drowsy in that bed. And I, I don't get drowsy when you're here. Well, because I'm asleep when you're finished. And because when I go there, I, I have to decide, well, I think it's time for me to go to sleep. So then I pop a pill just to make sure I will fall asleep. And, but it was, it was wonderful without you. It really was. I mean, I have to tell you. I'm glad. You know, I had this whole place to, my, to myself. 
And uh, I just, I could, uh, I could fart in the bed a lot. And you did. I, I made the bed every day. I'd be happy to know that. I did I'm that because sure. you got me just completely pussy whipped where no, that is it's concerned. No, something, something about getting into a fresh made bed. What is this? Log into Facebook? What do I want to log into Facebook for? I must have hit something wrong or something. Anyway. Uh, so what did you want to, you said you wanted to tell me something, but you wanted to wait until it was on the air? Yeah, and I forgot. Oh, so there you go. Uh, wait, it was something about something. something. You said, no, I'll, I'll say it on the air. Oh, okay. I can't remember now. Well, it'll come back eventually. I can't remember. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Well, I, have to have, get, I have to get the show on the air. I have, have to get the have, TV thing on. You have 25 minutes. What? You have 20 minutes to the to remember this what is what it happens was. when you're old you know you, you say I, I got something I gotta say so you write it down and you then, write it down I do I didn't have time to write it down I was doing other stuff here maybe you have time to write it down I don't have time to write it down I'm back mm. so okay. anyway um, and tired and then, and then she comes home and it's back to the same old thing we've got to watch this I didn't want, we watched everything that you wanted to watch in the order that you wanted to watch it. The only thing no, I watched but, but, was wait, Vietnam. Wait, wait a minute, they were all things you wanted yeah, to watch. Yeah, but you wanted to watch it in the order that you watched it. I want to see this first, and I want to say, I didn't say anything. Yeah, of course I wanted to watch it. But I wanted to watch Vietnam, and I'm glad we started watching it. And I hope you get bored and you don't want to watch any more of them, so I could watch it by myself. Yeah, so you can watch all 10 hours of, of Ken Burns being obnoxious. 19 hours. 19 hours? Well, all 10 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not 19 16 hours. 16 hours, maybe. It's got to be, it's about an hour and a half. Half, each. yeah. He's cheating on this one. You know, the thing is with Ken Burns, you can tell the story in a lot less episodes. <laughs> you really can. If you just don't slow it down with letters from home. Dennis Miller <laughs> once know. said about the Civil War that Ken Burns' um, production so, on the Civil War was longer than the Civil than War. the actual <laughs> Civil War, yeah. Uh, uh, and he didn't, he didn't do this one all by himself either. No, he did it with... Fine. Well, I think this woman has always been working with him, and she's never gotten the credit that she's due. So, so now, yeah, so now she's, good. she's getting the credit she's due. So that's, that's, that's always nice. But, uh, so anyway, so you went to Hong Kong. I went to Hong Kong. I never left the hotel. I got there Monday afternoon. You sound like me. Uh, that I, you know. Well, one, one thing that's neat about Hong Kong, everything is underground. For instance, right below our well, Because it's so unbearably hot. hot. And humid and humid. So there is a mall underneath. It, it, it's next to the Comrade Hilton where we stayed last year. But this mall is like seven stories below. And there's restaurants, there's all Fifth Avenue stores, I mean, nothing, no Walmarts, let's put it that way. All high-end restaurants and movies, and it's all like on different levels, and it's fantastic. Yeah. And, and so what you do, for the most part, when you stay in Hong Kong, is you stay underground. Yeah, you shop. Did you ever go down to the port and see the ships and stuff? I did down that there? last year. Didn't you remember all my pictures with the oh, port? Yeah. And the... yeah. Was it hot then? <laughs> I posted a picture from last year. So Phyllis, my sorority sister, said, "Post some more." So I said, "See, see Hong Kong 2016." <laughs> it's one of my albums. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't take any pictures. Yeah, because the port hasn't changed. Right. Since. Right. I did the port trip where I got on the boat and did all that. Did you go to that old, old kind of old place where they have the old buildings and stuff from the past? Well, yeah, there's old buildings all over the place. Yeah. But new buildings. I mean, it's amazing how tall some of these buildings are. Well, it's a small Is little Is it smaller place. than Manhattan? The island of Manhattan? Uh, maybe it might be about the same. Could be. It appears bigger because there's so there's mountains. <laughs> well, there's certain places where they didn't have much room, so they build skyward rather and downward. And downward. I mean, everything than is downward. Expanding outward. Yeah. Uh, a, a good example of that. What was the one that? Man, I'm so tired. I want to go to sleep. Right Let's now. not even talk about tired. I'm jet lagged. I'm gonna be well, jet lagged well, all I, weekend. I'm jet, jet lagged by osmosis. <laughs> okay. So and no. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, 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 oh, Monaco is a good example of that. Yeah. 
where everything is like on top of everything else and it's like you can't even see the hills there's only so the, many square inches the hills are the buildings yeah well, well well actually hong kong's like that and i have a picture that i took looking down from on the top and you see these high apartment all the pools are at the yeah. top of the of the apartment and they're in districts well i see them all the time because i have uh, uh, uh apple tv and they have all the screensavers, oh, right, right, right. which are really quite they spectacular. Are, they are good, yeah. Uh, the screensavers, not on the old Apple TV, but on the new Apple TV, they have these screensavers of these cities, and a lot of times they show Hong Kong, and it's just, it's it's dense. Yeah. Well, so is Manhattan. You know. Manhattan's pretty dense. It's getting worse. Now, uh, are they clamping down there? Yes. They are clamping down. Yeah, they're down. just beginning See, to get, the Chinese, Chinese look, are beginning to get involved in the local elections. So that's not a problem yet. But For a while, the Chinese, since about 2000, when they took it over. Uh, they this, let them do their thing. They let them do their thing because it, it's a money pit. It is a money pit. It brings in all the money. You know, and, and, and so, uh, and it was actually one of the first places that, uh, uh, that, that in China that was allowed to have full-blown uh, capitalism. capitalism. But they kept their hands off politically. And then all of a sudden, the last couple of years, they've been protesting everything yeah. because they've been dipping their fingers into the politics of the area. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know with China making all that money, and you work for one of the companies that makes all that money. Well, Let me tell you how much money they make. They just bought 26%. 28%. 28%. Of, of, um, of McDonald's in Hong Kong and China. Yeah, now you think that's it, huge. China is huge. the biggest market in the world. It's huge. Okay, uh, and but it's not. You know, it's not as big. What it's not as big as McDonald's. It's 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 climbing. It, it's yeah. not as big as KFC. It's climbing. KFC, it's climbing at a fast rate now. When we first went to KFC, there it's true. There was something like. 3,000 KFCs. One and opening by the up time, like every and by, day. And two weeks later, by the time we left, there were 6,000 KFCs. Something like that, yeah. But McDonald's is inching up. You know, I always I always regret that, that we did. We could have gone to KFC because there was a KFC near the and hotel. We didn't know and where to, we ended up eating in the hotel. We didn't yeah, know where to yeah. eat. Yeah. And, and that I understood that if you go to KFC, you say, well, what is it? The Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yeah, they have the Kentucky Fried Chicken. But, but they, they modify their, no, their but, menus. But they also have Chinese dishes that yeah. are made with chicken. Yeah. And I would have liked, I really, we really should have gone to a KFC because they're everywhere. They're everywhere. But anyway, your company bought 28% of McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. That's a... That's it's huge. How much did it cost them to buy I don't know. That? I don't know. You know what else they just bought? Now, is that city capital? Yeah, it's my wow. company. Now, that's different than the bank, right? right different yeah. than Citic Bank? Yeah, it's okay. different. But it's the same... Ba the companies are associated with these Somewhere things. way up there. Yeah. I mean, the person that started Citic Capital mm -hmm. was a vice president of the... Is that they call vice chairman of the Communist Party. Yeah. He was the first billionaire in China. The first billionaire in China was a head of the Communist Party. No, uh, vice, 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 vice chairman. Well, I mean, vice. one of the heads of the yeah. Communist Party. He was the first billionaire. He started Citic. He passed away about a year or two when I, after I started working for them. How, how can you be a communist and be that much of a capitalist? That's what I've never been able to figure out. Well, didn't somebody say on Mike Wallace's show? Didn't no, that that was uh, that was uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, now my mind's a blank. Uh, that was the the Chinese leader who let capitalism start, start to exist. To, to exist. And and Mike Wallace asked him, uh, and, and I'll remember the guy's name later. Uh, but I'm kind of woozy right now, and I can't think of names very well. Um, he said that, uh, Mike Wallace said to him, I, I thought you hated capitalism. He said, no, I don't hate capitalism. I just think that capitalism should benefit everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Not like these selfish pricks that we that, have in that our you government. You have capitalism, but then you take the, the things that capitalism gives you, which is money, and you be, and let it benefit the people. Yeah. But if, if it doesn't benefit the people, then it isn't good. No, it's like it's like this health no, insurance. No, it wasn't show and lie. It was, uh, it was uh, uh, Deng Xiaoping. Deng Xiaoping. Sounds like a, a dinner. Yeah, Deng Xiaoping. Sounds like a meal. Well, it sounds like a shit and, <laughs> and, and a ball you bat back and forth. Now, Deng Xiaoping, 
And he was the guy who literally, and I think it was Hong Kong, or not Hong Kong, but Shanghai or somewhere down around there, that he allowed to suddenly deal in capitalistic trade. In other well, words... Beijing is where the banking center is. It's kind of like our Wall Street. Now. But, now, But, but, but yeah. the, the whole roots of capitalism started in, uh, in I think, in Shanghai. He did it down along the coast. Could be. Uh, to try it as an experiment. And it is also Deng Xiaoping who unfortunately got all in the middle of the Tiananmen Square thing. And he didn't know how to handle it. Because there was part of him that was communism, part of him that wanted to make the country go forward. And demonstrations were not uh, that part of the equation. Yeah. She didn't allow... Well, they're moving. I mean, they're about to take over being the number one economy. Yeah. Like in a yeah. year or so, they're saying. But how that gets along with communism, I have absolutely no idea. And it was like we had this woman who was our... Uh, tour guide. Tour guide. What was her name again? I can't remember now. Cece. Cece. And I said, maybe I shouldn't say this. I said to Cece, I said, so how do you feel about the fact you can't vote? She says, well, I can vote. She said, but I have to join the Communist Party in order to vote, because what you're voting for is the communist leaders of the Communist Party and so on. And I said, so why don't you join the Communist Party? She says, eh, I have no need to. Yeah, her needs are getting met. And I said, don't you mind that this is kind of being run like a uh, totalitarian government? Like, duh, what do we yeah, have yeah. here in this country now? Well, what, wait, wait a minute, and, and her answer was, uh, you know, my life is really good right now, and as long as it stays that way, they can play whatever games they want to in the People's Congress yeah. or whatever. Uh, and and uh, you know, and then you well, you say to me about Tiananmen Square, and you go, oh, look at the protests they wanted; they were fighting for democracy. No, they weren't fighting for democracy. That is, uh, people for uh, that's what we sent as the message here in the United States. The fact was that. Tiananmen Square was not a fight over whether they have democracy or not. It was a fight over the corruption in the government. Mm -hmm. And the fact the government is probably one of the more corrupt governments in the world. Well, we're getting there. Well, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. You know. I mean, this health policy that they're trying to ram down our throat. Yeah, well, they're not going to. Now. They're not going to. Because it Mike, looks like John McCain's coming through again. Yeah, he said already. He said, I'm not voting I'm for not it. I'm not voting and, for it. And, uh, the other it's worse than the plan that came down in the spring. Worse. Well, it, 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 it's terrible. I, again. The fact, the fact that they're at, they have no hearings, the fact that every major medical association is against it, hospitals, doctors, you yeah, mean. It's not only that. I, I was saying over and over again that, you know, it's the old saying that, the insanity is trying to do the same thing over and over again and continuing to get the same result and continuing to try God it God forbid again. they should take Obamacare and try to correct it, which is what they should do. They, after seven years, somehow a light bulb did not go over on over somebody's head saying, you know, maybe there's another answer here. You know, maybe They just want to get Obama's name off of everything. Here's what you do. To begin with, you want to get Democrats... Quit calling it Obamacare, it's, you know, it's, because it's, you it's, say Obamacare it's branded. To, to, to some... It's a branded, Alex. Yeah, you, It'll you never say, change. No, you say Obamacare to some idiot, and he says, you, well, they, they did a poll. They did a poll, and... and the Affordable Care Act. They act, No, they said, what, what would you rather have, the affordable. Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act? And they go, oh, we want the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> Nobody said, hey, they're the same thing, you know. But uh, people, uh, it wasn't branded right. It, they, they call it Obamacare, so you're afraid of it. Well, because it's Obama, it's the black man. And they want to get, <laughs> Trump wants to get his name off of anything that has Obama on it. Everything. Everything that he's done. Yeah, well. What a yeah, sleazeball. Uh, it's a sleazeball, of course. But, you know, so are, you know. He said he was going to clean the swamp, and instead he he's the of, he's the swamp. He kind of put him in an aquarium in the Oval Office. He's you know. the swamp. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm having coffee tonight. And this is waking me up. I'm having my Pete's coffee, which is better than Starbucks, by the way. Hey, I drink a, at five thirty in the morning, Alex. That's fine with me. That's How much? 
You go and you buy a cup of coffee at Starbucks. And I get a muffin. And you get a muffin. But forget the muffin. How much does the coffee cost? I don't know, but I know how much the coffee and the muffin cost. How much? $5.12. So the coffee is probably comes in at somewhere around three and a half dollars. No, no. The, the muffin is about two something. And then the coffee is the very good. You, know, well, you know, I have got these K cups. And they come out to about a buck a piece, and I've got your whatever, whatever swill you drink. But it's Starbucks. here. It's here. The whole thing with me is going to a place. Yeah, that I, it's my you, you thing. You know the thing she likes to do, and and I never can quite figure this out. She goes, "Let's go out to dinner." Now, what is it with going out to dinner that so enthralls you're you? You're out of the apartment. You're just out of here. It's good. You're out of here all day. You're at work. You're doing things. You're going and seeing your girlfriends at lunch and blah, blah, blah. And then you come home and you go, let's go out to dinner. And I, I, I don't really like going out to dinner. You don't like going out. No, I don't like going I out I came to home dinner. on Thursday and he was still in his pajamas from two days before. What do you mean? I wasn't in my pajamas. You for were too. When I came home, you had your pajamas on. No, I had. Yes. The, I had those. I hadn't worn them while you were gone. I was oh. running around the house naked because I could. Well, that's what you were wearing when I came. I home. did. I don't run around the house naked when you're here because I don't want you to vomit. <laughs> you know, in spite of the incredible amount of weight that I have lost. Oh, and I'm so proud Which I'm of you. trying to put some on. You're fine. Don't try to put anything. Well, on. I've been eating everything to see if I just. Get, and I'm not gaining any. Just leave it. Yeah. God. Don't worry. I'll be dead soon. Okay, it's 1026. Just saying, I'm jet lagged. Actually, it's 1027. 27. Just, just turned yeah. 1027. So can I roll on over? No. Why? No, because we still have three minutes left. Ah, uh, what am I going to do? We still have three minutes left. They'll love to hear us argue. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they yes, they do. Don't, don't, yes, they do. Don't, 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 don't. If, if you like hearing us argue, write it down on, Call uh, in. on the uh, either that or put a smiley face or something up on the on the video right now. Just let it swathe, uh, go across the screen if you like to hear us argue. Can you do that? Have yeah, they have little uh, little uh, uh, e emoticons, emojis? emoticons that they can do. Wait a minute, there they go. Oh, see? look at see? that! Yeah. See, there are a couple. Of, oh, oh wow. there's a whole bunch of them. See, they love us oh, arguing. That's great. Look at that. Yes. They're going crazy. They're going nuts. They're going really crazy. Come on, folks. Come on, encourage us to fight. Encourage us to battle it out. See, they love it. They love it. See? I tell you, that's that's the kind of applause I like. To put. It's not stopping. They want us to. I think they want us to get a divorce. I think that's what they want. <laughs> Look at that. They're going crazy. <laughs> They're going nuts. Anyway. Anyway. And also, we have one of the larger amounts of people watching at one time, too. Good. So we keep I'm arguing. Back. Keep arguing. I'm yeah. back. Anyway, they had a big. Let me tell you about the feast. We had a big um, banquet. It was mm -hmm. a ten course banquet. Mm -hmm. Lasted till ten thirty at night, and oh. that's way past my dinner time. It's way past my bedtime. Yeah. I was exhausted. I mean, it was nice. We can't get you to stay up past nine thirty for a nice a nice dinner with it's your hard. company. It's hard. Well, they've been good to you. They're very good to you. Yeah. They're, they're terrific. I think you've got a job there for as long as you want it, no matter how old you get. Yeah, it's true. You know, they really, they really, uh, they, they, they're very fond of you. Yeah. And I'm fond of them. I wish somebody were fond of me and I had a job, but no, I don't have a job. Uh, well, you want to roll on over? Is roll. that what you want to do? Okay. Let me, let me, let me roll her on over. Hold on a second. Let me just, uh. Here she comes, and let me turn on the uh, the phones I'm here. Wearing shorts. Huh? I'm wearing shorts. You're wearing shorts? Yeah. I know it doesn't look it, but I'm wearing shorts. Okay, look, they're still going with the smiling uh, and everything. Cute? See that? Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Isn't that wonderful? Okay. You, you gotta. Here, I'll move over okay. more this way. Hi. And then, you know, I have to reach over here, but I can do it. Well, wait a minute. I know what I'll do. I will put it here, there you go. and then I can I can roll do it there. from here. There you go. So yeah. call in. Oh wait a minute, have I turned it on? Yeah, no. I turned it on, and so we got to wait for people to uh, call in. to start calling in. 
By the way, Rob, uh, I hope Rob calls us today Rob because moved? Rob's going to move tomorrow. Tomorrow. They move into oh, the new place. He's not calling in And tonight. I'm hoping he has like Fios or whatever by Monday, by he's Tuesday. Not, he's not calling in Wait a in minute, tonight. wait a minute. He'll call in tonight, no. I'm sure. By, by Tuesday, because then on Tuesday he can literally give us a, a trip around his oh, the uh, new house. His new house. Oh, There's Rob is. Alfano. He just signed on. So you see, okay. oh, you see, you thought he wasn't going to call. There he is. There he is. Uh, and there is. Uh, Hey. Uh, there is our good friend. So tomorrow's Ro the move. Huh? Wait a minute. No, we went. Yeah, I, tomorrow's I, the move. We uh, are you excited. They're all day today. I was. I'm exhausted. My. But is uh, everything where you want it to hurts. be? <laughs> What's that? Or is everything where you want it to be? No, the furniture's not there yet. No, we were just. The, uh, the, the, the house it no, came yeah, out. The hold way on a second. I got it. I got it. For the most part, yeah. The I mean, there. there's a couple of things. If I could change, I would. But you know, that's just because of the speed it all happens. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But uh, if you can see behind me here, if you can see behind me here, oh, we boxes. are full oh, of yes. boxes. Look at the boxes of... Alex. No, wow! Hey, uh, there she is! There she is! <laughs> there's the there's there's the little missus. Let's say hello. Get yeah. over there. Uh, uh, anyway. She doesn't want to be on. She camera. doesn't want to be on camera. Well, either do I, and you make. Well, me then go it. away. <laughs> hi, bless. Hi, hi, Jason. Bye. They can't, she can't Hi. hear you. <laughs> Good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks. We, uh, my back's going to need it. <laughs> yeah, but what, what I, I want you to do. Go to what, a what, what I want you to do is, uh, as soon as you can, uh, I want you to give us a tour of your house when you're on some night. Uh, yeah, the Fios is up and running. Wow. I got a hundred, uh, I got, I got that done today mm -hmm. um and i use the internet so it's nice and fast it's a hundred uh megabit up and down so oh really have... okay no his yeah. is it's a pussy compared to our, we have nine times have... really the speed <laughs> is yours fiber too rob yes yeah so i got it uh that was done today and um what else happened today we put the kitchen <clears throat> together brought you know we brought a lot of, you know, they delivered the pod to the front of the house, so we brought in some boxes, and but then I got tired, and I said, "That's it, That's no more." Day. My back's killing me. It's <laughs> you know, a long you, day. You, you, there's there's a rule: you don't have to move in all at once. You know. The most important thing is to get the bed in the bedroom. That's, that's... And, and, and that's the other thing that I always... Yeah, talking to the well, mic. the mic is all the way over there. Well, it's, I'm over here, The too. best thing, though, is when you unpack your last box... Oh, what a great feeling that is! And I'm hoping that'll happen. And that will like be. By, no, that happened. will happen. That will happen by 2020. No, with us it happened in about two right. months. It happened in two months. Really? Yeah, by October it was all all gone. Yeah, it's going to happen thanks pretty quick. Thanks to me. I mean, I've thanks been here to for you. Like seven years, and I still have boxes in my basement that well, I. Well, he's those boxes that. Just stuff that you no, don't no, use. I had so. boxes that got sent to me by by uh, by Damien yeah, with, 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 with my with my with my shows. You haven't done anything with it. Yes, I have. I've rec do you know how many th how many things I've dubbed off? When was the last time you did that? I, I not in a while because Damien hasn't sent me any new you didn't boxes. You all those boxes. I went through all those so boxes. So I could put those in the closet then. <laughs> Almost. I have to look right. at them one more time. But not every you know there are thousands of tapes there, but not every one of them has something that's worth. Uh, recording. No, but an interview here, an interview there. Well, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I look at what I've got there, and I look the spine on them, and then I say, well, that one's not interesting, you know. Who who wants, uh, you know, some comedian right, but nobody those ever boxes heard of. I could put in the closet. I have to rearrange the closet. N no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I want them out of there. That's my room. Leave me alone. It's disgusting. What do you mean it's disgusting? You know something? Here's what she thinks is disgusting. The fact that I've got some boxes piled up in a corner with tapes in them, or the fact that she leaves stuff going in the uh, uh, in the living room, like clothes that are supposed to be sent out to Goodwill, and like they're, they're sitting there for five months no, they're sitting in the in, living in room. In the chest. They're inside there, you know, the there chest. There was this whole massive amount of garbage in the living room for months. And you, you know, so don't ever gripe to me about how I've neatly piled up boxes in the guest room. If you like this, oh, arguing, oh, if you like this arguing, folks, just send us some smiley faces on. Uh, Here we go again. Boy, they really like us arguing. 
I don't like you know. Like well, no, it makes them feel better about their own marriage. About their life. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I hope my wife doesn't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you be more like them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway. Have you seen your garage? What? She should say, Has, have you seen your garage? Did oh, you I see. the garage yet? Well, the garage, I mean, I never had a garage. But I understand the garage becomes a repository for everything. That's all it is. It's a storage box. Or a basement. It's a storage unit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, here's Vernon Nunn. Vernon hasn't uh, called us in a while. Hello, Hi. Vernon. How are you? Hi, Vernon. Hello. Hello. Turn on your uh, camera, and then we can see. He See all that uh, radio equipment he has in the back? Wow, this is the guy that. that does Morse code. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turn on your... your, your video yeah turn on the video then they can see there you yeah ah. right. go on tap something out and then tell it let's try and guess what you're saying okay call for philip no, 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 no. oh wait a minute do you know CQ. what it, do you know what it is mike CQ. what yep, cq was he right oh, yep i'm also a ham operator Oh, wow. I thought oh, it was really? mom and dad. Well, Please okay. stop arguing. Well, well, wait a minute. <laughs> mike is a ham operator so vernon uh, why don't you do this? Why don't you tap out something, a message to Mike, and let's see if he gets it. Uh, did you hear what I said, Mike? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. He's trying to think of something. Just, just, tell him to go fuck himself or something. Just tap it out. <laughs> you know. You're not supposed to do that on ham. Oh, I no. see. Okay. Violation. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I have my D104 hooked up tonight, Alex. What's your What's your D104? Like this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. The really That's the lolly. That's the microphone where you have to take a rubber band to hold the thing together. No, so. it no, it has a little band on here that I can slip it up and down. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay. So it, because what you usually use those for is only when you're going to talk then you, you grab it and it turns Yeah. Up. Well, the way this one is wired, uh, it also disconnects the uh, microphone cartridge unless that lever is is uh, is pushed. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, tap out something to Mike, and let's see if he if he's telling see, us. See if, I can, see if I can remember, remember my voice code. It's been a while. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm musty. Okay. What? Okay, what did he say, Mike? CQ. I'm too rusty tonight. <laughs> You're too rusty tonight? Yeah, let me turn the speed down a little it bit. It sounds here. official to me. I mean, where's, what is that, uh, Bert? I don't know. Let me try something else here. Okay, Mike, what did he, what did he say? CQ, CQ, with this call, how do you copy Mike? No. <laughs> well, close, wasn't I? No. Hey, <laughs> Bert, it's been a while since I listened to the CW. Okay, let me turn the speed down. Sack of shit, Mike. You don't look, know. Okay, look under the my call. Look, go to see uh, uh, QRZ the call book. Look at my call and six BIC. You'll see my my name and address and everything Great. else. But it also says right next to it, the worst Morse code guy in America. <laughs> I hate Morse code. I hate Morse code. That's my it's, favorite mode. I, I like see. It. Sounds like a Bic lighter to me. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's. Uh, I, think it's uh, I think it's. I think it's so cool. I think it's so cool. And with that, I'm hey, saying good night, guys. Good night, Marjorie. Good night, Marjorie. Good night. Wave to me. Hey, oh, that looks great. Yeah. 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 They're all waving at her. Okay, all right, she's gone. I'm she's gone. out of here. Have you got your? Oh no, you've got I'm your shorts on. Shirts. She's not. I'm wearing she shorts. She isn't wearing underpants. Shorts. So, so don't. She's uh, not wearing underpants. She's not wearing underpants. She's not wearing underpants. She's not wearing underpants. So don't. She's uh, not wearing underpants. No, she's. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> but she's to France. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Phil, just for you, I got the D104 hooked up. Yeah, I see it. Uh, it you hear it now, too. Yeah. Um, how close? Uh, well, it looks like you're, what, about a foot and a half, two feet from it? Yeah, no more about that. Is, is that the normal range for that, Mike? Uh, well, it has a preamp. Right. It has a preamp in it, and I can turn the preamp up and down. But I set it on the uh, echo test on Skype before I logged in. Uh, yeah, I had one, but it was 1970. <laughs> Did you ever send that mic to Alex or no? No, it's still sitting here. It's still, uh, uh, don't forget about it. No, no, no. no. The problem forget. is, is that you the can't return, pay for return uh, postage. Yeah, I have to take it to UPS, have them weigh it put a return sticker on the box that's inside the box, and then I can mail the uh, the outside box with the inside box. I see. but, but uh, That's easy. How, uh, to begin with, what, is this a USB mic, did you say? No. Oh, no. No, no it's a regular mic. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's yeah. a Rode Broadcaster. It's just like this one. It's the exact same How thing. much did it cost? Uh, well, I bought it used for 200 and change, but they're about 550 Oh, but speaking of which, let me talk. Uh, we'll get back to that in a second. So thank you, Rob. Uh, on Credit Karma, I hadn't checked deeply enough into Credit Karma, but it kept saying you have money. Oh, right. Yeah. So, now, the other day it said you have some money in, in New York, and then I checked right. with New York State, and there was nothing. Okay, it came up nothing. All right. So I gave up on it. And today I said, you have $150, blah, blah, blah. So I clicked on it and it said, let's take you to the California site. And yeah. I went there and they they said, uh, Bennett Schwarzman at uh, 2290 North Point, apartment 105, is owed $50 by uh, HP. Uh, yes. And then... It said, you're also owed $100 by Western Digital. So I hmm. applied for it, and they're going to send it to me. $150. I found, I found $1,400 for my mom. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. One was a, uh, an apartment that she rented with my dad back in the 50s. Wow. There was some kind of deposit or something. Jason? It was, that was part of it, yeah. Jason? So I did it too. I didn't sign up for uh, Credit Karma. Actually, I just went to their site and put in my name, and yeah. then you know hit the check for money, and it, it said that I had money too. Um, and mine, you know, Michigan, it was saying it was Mick Payroll. So my first job was McDonald's. So I figured yeah. maybe I had a paycheck. My last paycheck I never got or something. So it might be fifty bucks. But uh, I had to go to the Michigan website, you know, and print out a, a form there. Half of the crap on there wasn't really understanding, and but I have to also I have to take it to a notary public and have it stamped and everything by them and then send it in. Well, That's in, cool. in this that case, be, what what happened that must was be state because with New yeah. York, I didn't have to do anything. Well, I'll tell you what, ha what, what yeah, happened with California and... with with the fifty dollars from HP. It just said, "Here, do you want to just okay this as a e e filing?" You know, yeah. and I said yes, and they said fine. We'll send you the money in uh, fifteen to twenty days or something like that. Then I tried it for the other one, and I got something that said uh, you can't do this by e-filing. You've got to fill this out, and uh, uh, like you were saying, oh, but it only has to be notarized if it's over a thousand dollars. And then I decided, ah, fuck it. I was doing it on my iPad, so I went over to uh, online, uh, went on the computer here. And I filled the whole thing out again, and it said, do you want to e-file? So I e-filed. I didn't have to fill out that uh, that whole thing. So that's that. Now, maybe maybe there's something here in New York, but I doubt it, you know. You know, I, I, you know that's all from uh, old Bernie Madoff made that all happen, pretty much. What? That's a Sarbanes-Oxley Act that caused them to do all that. They have to do due diligence to get money back to people that they actually owe. Really? Is that right? Well, I mean, this, yeah, these, these look that. like they were from Hewlett Packard and from Western Digital. They were refunds that I never applied for. Yeah. yeah. It's it's money that you paid for or it was owed to you somewhere, somehow. And they have to do, the law says now, Sarbanes-Oxley is called SOX. They have to do diligence to Make sure you get paid. My wife used to do it when she worked for her company. 
and she used to have to chase down old employees that had, you know, seven hundred dollar paychecks that still owed them, and people didn't even know it. But. And that's not from when that law came out moving forward. That's even before that because, you know, mine's like 20 years plus ago. Well, they go back into records, I guess. I don't know. But it's basically, you know, part of that. That's what the Sarbanes-Oxley Act came out of. But now, are they going after these individuals at that, like, I put in a claim for this money. Are they going after this McPayroll for that money? Or does the state of Michigan already have that money? I'm not sure. They're probably well. It's probably in a depository with the with the state. Yeah, I, I think the say. state has all that money. Because I think when the when the company can't find it, they dump it off in there and then right wait for somebody. They don't else. want it on their books. Yeah, because they can say they did their due diligence to look for you. Right. Now they send it to them and let them hold it. Right. So it's all these unclaimed claimed funds that are yeah. sitting in in accounts with the states. Yeah. So anyway, so I mean, uh, so I'm, I'm getting some money back, you know. Well, good for you. Uh, and who, uh, you know, I I imagine that's all that's owed me. Uh, it, it said there was some in New York a couple of days ago, but have you checked every state you've ever uh, worked I, in? I check every single uh, state. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, basically, the well, Minneapolis. There might be a, isn't there a federal site? Yeah, but wouldn't no, it say on credit so. card? Wouldn't it say I'll have on to ask my wife. since Credit she Karma saw that I had a, a, a money owed me in California? Uh, could it not be um, uh, that if there was some in New York or there was some in, say, Illinois where I lived for a while, that they would have yeah, they, Texas or, or, or Texas, Florida? Or, yeah, that, that, say that, maybe that, even state by state. If they do it different, they but, might not report it to Credit Karma. So I, you might have to physically go to Texas website and put in your information there. Yeah, if yeah. you went through Credit Karma and filled out all those, probably where you got all those forms. But I couldn't find when I got in Credit Karma online. I couldn't find uh, the thing. It's Never, a, where where you go to on that site to see if there's money owed you. It's called the unclaimed funds site or something. Yeah. Take, take a look at this and change the subject. Yeah. That is a that is a view from outside my house. I put in one of those uh, Skybell HD doorbells today. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So I could look. And, and it already paid dividends. My plumber came and rang my doorbell while I was on my way home. It's like the, and you can ring the, and you can let him in from. You can't let him in. You could talk to him. Mm -hmm. You could, uh, you know, what what's going on, and uh, but I don't have. Uh, you would be able to let him in if I had a lock that allowed it, but I don't have a lock that allows that. I got so, the ring doorbell. Is that is that like the ring one? Um, I think it ring, is by ring. ring. Has, yeah, rings the one I think that came out with it, but. I'm wondering what the cost difference. Shecky is. has cameras all over his house that he can see wherever he is in the world. I'd like yeah, some because the, the ring doorbell night vision really isn't that great. It's really, and then it seems like mine just keeps on getting worse and worse. It's like more pixelated. Oh you know, really? You can't really see a clear image of somebody. When I first got it, it seemed like it was great, and at times it seems like now it's was that something? Was that something you added on? It wasn't something that was installed in the house. Yeah, when the when uh, Verizon came today, as soon as they left, I took the old do doorbell off and put that one on and connected it to the Wi-Fi in the house. And uh, so yeah, I just put that on today. And so, next, I'm going to do the Nest thermostat. But I got to get a second one because I have two thermostats in the house. You know what you should get? I, I got to say, I, I for, it was like, how much did I pay for it? I paid like seventy nine bucks or something because they had it on sale. Echo. And I have, a, I have a. You mean the Amazon Echo? Yeah. Yeah, I have one. Isn't it fun? I like it. Yeah. I, I just use it in it the up tonight over there. I use it in the kitchen. I go like, you know, yep. uh, let me know when, when eight minutes is up or whatever, and it's a setting timer for eight minutes, and then it is so loud you can hear it anywhere in the house. Right. <laughs> well, we use it for things like, hey Alexa, uh, put eggs on the shopping list, and they it adds everything to your shopping list, and then you just take your your phone with you and use the Alexa app and buy yeah. all the things as you're. You know, as you see you're out of something, you just tell Alexa to put it on the shopping list. It's excellent. Yeah, but then does it print out the shopping list? No, you just take your phone and you use your Alexa app and you just go down the list, say, oh, I need this, I need this. 
and then you you cross oh, them out. Oh, and then it's listed on the Alexa on app. The Alexa app. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. Oh, gee, it works didn't great. To, didn't stop to think about that. So what do you say? You say Alexa. Alexa, add eggs to my shopping list. Oh, Alexa, okay. add Windex to my shopping list. Whatever you need. Wow. And then it I, says adding Windex to your shopping list. And then, order, and, and then it shows want. up on the Alexa app as what you asked it to do. Right, you just go to your shopping list, and it'll show up all the things that you, oh, really? you, you told know, Alexa I, over time. I didn't know you had a shopping list there. Yeah, yeah you could even yeah. you can even uh, tell yeah. Alexa oh, but, to but order the, your window cleaner. Well, yeah, you could through it. Amazon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can order. I've ordered stuff through Amazon using that, but yeah. but. Uh, it, it, what's great about it is, is if you've got the right kind of like, oh, I know, a washing machine, you can have Alexa turn it on and off. You know, you can say, Alexa, turn on washing machine. Boom. Yeah. It, it, it also have, talks to, to go like, on. refrigerators and stuff as well. If you get all the internet-capable appliances. Yeah. Do you have to get the, uh, what, sensors to plug into or what? No, it, it, it has it already built into them, if I'm not mistaken. and then Yeah, you, they communicate with each other over your Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know, but how does it communicate to a light that I have already bought? Is it you have to plug it into a some kind of unit? Yes. Like if I want to say, turn off the living room light. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, all that stuff, because I'm a gadget guy, and I want to turn the light switch. Yeah, yeah. Well, switch sometimes it is, and sometimes it's off switch. the... Some of these bulbs are internet yeah. ready bulbs, and it'll yeah. automatic without the light switch. It automatically can. You could change the color of the bulbs, the LED bulbs. You can dim them, right, all through the app. Yeah, but how do they? How do they pick up the Wi-Fi signal? They're in they are. The, they have little Wi-Fi. Uh, these bulbs have little Wi-Fi uh, receivers. Really? Yeah. They have a technology that's going to be coming out soon, too, that your some light bulbs might be able to actually be a Wi-Fi repeater. Yeah, I could see and, that. And then you would, got you would put these light bulbs in any regular well, electrical it's, outlet. It's, it's and, not yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. They have the ones for the ceiling. For the, you know, they have ones for yeah, your, they gotta your be, lamps. they got to be really expensive light bulbs, though. No, not yeah. particularly. Not as, not not as much as, it's expensive for a light bulb, but not as much as you would think. Right. Well, yeah, it's not going to be as cheap and it's as your probably TV. LED and it lasts forever and everything exactly. else. Exactly, exactly. They're LED, and they and you can set you can set mood so you can do different colors. You could you know you could have it like if like in your like if you have a home theater, you can have them dim or go blue or cyan or pick a color, and and it's really cool. Wow, Alexa, put the light into fuck mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, there we are. Okay, I, I thought well, maybe those light bulbs must be about what four or five dollars a bulb. <laughs> no, oh. I, yeah. no, so, they're probably more than that. Twenty, thirty, so much more. No. no, I don't think they're nearly twenty to thirty bucks. You said the Wi-Fi bulbs? I thought they're oh, oh, twenty no. bucks. A, they could yeah, be they got to be twenty or so because I've seen I've seen some LEDs. That are in the twenty dollar range without Wi Fi. I, have, I, I put depends almost, on what you're buying and what you want. I, I put almost every bulb well, in Phillips, this house now is an LED bulb. The Philips are fifteen bucks. Yeah. Then there are some uh, forty one forty dollar ones like the the flood ones are forty yeah. bucks. There's well, a couple well, of I like have, have the faux candle lights up here and they're all LEDs. And the reason I've done nothing but LEDs is number one, they never get warm, cool. and yeah. and they use very little electricity. Yeah, you they're know, awesome. You, they really improve your electric bill. Yep. And there's some lights I, was I like. Buy, uh, a four foot fluorescent to change out in my garage down there, and I've got four fixtures I've already changed up. There's two left, two bulbs. I'm just going to go buy the bulbs, and they were like forty bucks a piece, but. That was down the local age. They, I could probably they, get cheaper somewhere. What I haven't been able to find yet, though, is I have a couple of lights in this house that are like the quartz lights, and they really eat up the electricity. Yeah. And, and I was just wondering, have they made an LED to replace those? Yes. They have. Yeah, they've got, you know, the small little halogen lights, that spotlights and stuff like that that you yeah. put in the track lighting. Yeah. I've replaced all mine. Yeah, but I'm and saying, they, I'm talking about, like I'm talking about the long, the, like a long tube. You know, yeah, they got those. Really? I've got a little fixture in my in my cabinets for my uh, bookshelves that are about that long. 
and they're LED. Yeah. I ended up replacing the I have a, 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 a chandelier that has the real small, you know, where the screw on the bottom of it is real small. And yeah. yeah. The candle shaped yep. Yep. ones. Yeah. I got those with LED. Oh. It's called a candelabra vase. Yeah. Yeah. Well, enough about uh, lighting. Uh, let let's get to something. Last night we uh, we were talking about the fact that the Republicans are again proving how insane they are by once again trying the same thing over and over again with the same result. Uh, and uh, in this case, of course, is to replace an omit whatever Obamacare. And uh, uh, once again, they're trying it. And I think uh, somebody like Phil said, well, you know, John McCain will probably vote for it now because they've got it the way he wants it. Well, John McCain has announced today he will not vote for this new bill. See, I told you the night before, so, Bill. So the, the, the fact of the matter is this thing hasn't got a chance in hell of passing. Well, because uh, it, Ron Paul. Because, what? Uh, Ron Paul. Ron Paul, Ron Paul uh, he said no also. Well, yep. right now. Yeah, but the We're reason Rand Paul said it. no, the but reason Rand Paul I, I, said no, is he doesn't want the federal government involved in health care at all. Yeah, well, I'm I'm very very upset with Trump. Uh, you know, I wait, can, wait, I but wait, 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 hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, hold on. Where, 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 where hold on, I need to go get my heart medicine. Yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah. here we go again and give me a cardiac saying things like that. I'm mad at Trump. Grab the pussy. I can go for the white supremacist. I can go for the Nazis, but I can't go for him insulting short people. I'm only 5'8", and I won't have it. Wait a minute. Did he insult short people? Yeah, he called uh, Kim Jong-un uh, little. Oh, yeah. Uh, little rocket man. Rocket yeah. man. Yeah. So, you know, oh I, boy. Oh boy. I didn't hear yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. I heard that was his nickname for his own penis before. Yeah, you know, and that that <laughs> would it, be that easy. That it, it's over. My love affair with Trump over. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> you know there's a new disease out what? too, Alex. What what is, what is that? It's it's called Trump hypertensive unknown disorder. Thud. <laughs> that was invented by Dana Milbank on the Washington Post article. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I think that, uh, that, uh, uh, that, you know, I mean, I think the fact that McCain uh, it, it has, has so much, it has just made it re impossible for this thing to get passed, and also that uh, can it, uh, that uh, Alaskan uh, senator, what's yeah. her name? Yeah. She yeah. still said, she says she can't see voting for it, and yeah. uh, you know you got to get Rand Paul uh, to say, oh yeah, this yeah. is great. I, I I don't mind government getting involved here. Another uh, female senator was it from Maine? Yeah, yeah. Eller or whatever her name is. Yeah. Hey, didn't Rand Paul Susan Collins vote yeah. yes yeah. on the last uh, on the last go around of, bill, of bills of, uh, of that? Uh, no uh, repeal. No, he didn't. No. Vote yet. But, all right. Bill. So that, therefore, he's the only one that they have to turn. Yeah. Who is this, Tim? Sure. Who's who just called us? Yeah, this is Todd Moore. Oh, hi, Todd. How are you? Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I mean, I hope I wasn't interrupting, but we was getting. I was listening to what you guys were saying. It's really good. Um. So, uh, what are your plans that you guys think is going to happen with Kim Jong Un? Uh, I really you don't know. I hope there's more name calling. Uh, China's going to smack them down. Well, China has really? already said the Chinese <laughs> have already said that they're the banks. The main bank there has said that they are not going to do any business with with. Uh, 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 yeah, but I heard that his his, At least his in the uh, open. underground yeah his underground system of uh, fake companies they're like chameleons they when they do business in Malaysia they act like a Malaysian company when they do business in any country they're they're very clandestine and there's so he's getting billions of dollars through this and they're not able to they're not able to crack this so yeah the yeah. bank won't be able to do business but he's got all these shell companies. That are doing business, and this is how he's. Yeah, this is how he's getting his money. Yeah, 
Yeah, they'll, they'll have us that. bomb the shit out of them, and then China will take them over. Yeah, yeah, well, it's going to come out. The problem with that, though. It's going well, to come wait, wait, out. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let Todd talk, because Todd, Todd, Todd is on the phone, and we kind of have to defer to him a little bit. What were you going to say, Todd? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get uh, to figure out how to use the, what is Skype? It, the, the Skype. I, I'm, 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 I'm not old, but then again, I'm old with the Skype because I was had problems with the Skype. But yeah, no, what I was saying, um, that, um, you know, the Russians and the Chinese are definitely having problems with Trump, even though Trump is supposed to be dealing with the Russians. And then also he's talking about Rocket Man and everything else like that. So he's pretty much causing a whole lot of uh, more problems for right. himself he while he still has, the, um, you know, everybody's looking at him to try to, you know, impeach him. Well, the, so the, it's, it, it's, it's, it's like, wow, you know, he's, he's, he's really not helping himself when he could pretty much get himself out of a lot of problems if he just work with the Chinese and everybody else but he's got to insult you know. everybody yeah correct well the, the, you know, the I, thing the thing that I was hearing today between uh, Kim Jong Un and uh, and uh, 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 Trump was almost uh, uh, bordering on on childishness I mean it was like right. I was expecting one of them to call the other a doo-doo head you know You're right Hey, but well, Kim Jong Un did that. He, he well, he used. Trump, yeah, he did. Dotard. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Dotard. What, yeah, what do you call I him? I love that dotard. Yeah. Dotard. He's a dotard. <laughs> I would say, but he used a little more civilized language, you know. Well, I'm beginning to think that Kim Jong Un, uh, between the two of them, is the one with class. You know, and that's not saying yeah, much. The, you know, the he's a murderer. He took the highest road. The highest road, the guy killed his uncle, he killed his brother. But you see, no, but, you know, what but, you but, always but, do to justify what you're saying, Phil, is to go to something else that has nothing to do with this. The guy, you're telling me the guy's got class, he's a murderer. I didn't say he had class, but he has more class than Trump. Well, at least he didn't insult short people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, well, not yet. Because he is one. Yeah, yeah, Todd, he, he did. With a funny hat. And we don't even know if, if in fact, um, uh, Kim Jong-un is actually short. I don't know how tall he is, but he, he photographs short, but he could be just short. normal size, you know. Yeah, he's, he's just short, he's but... just squat because he's fat. Oh, mm -hmm. now, we oh made fun, now we made fun of fat people. Eh, well, nah, yeah, nah. See, no, we, yeah, we can right. do it. It's just that Trump can't do it. Oh, okay. Trump is the president. Remember that? <laughs> no, he, if we if, listen, listen, we don't have to remember it if Trump can't. You're yeah. right. <laughs> I mean, we're not, you know, we're hanging out here on a Friday night. I'm laying on a couch here. And we're not sitting in the Oval Office with our phones in our hand and yeah. and Twitter and and tweeting all these ridiculous things, talking like you're standing in a bar with your buddies. Yeah, yeah. This is the diplomatic relations between foreign countries that mean something. By the they way, have, they Phil, have guns and buttons. Phil, yeah, Phil hasn't made a big deal out of it. We have a full house in case nobody was paying attention. So. Yeah, yeah. That's ten people yeah, with me. Only ten. I can't do anything until there's eleven. Do we what? have ten little Indians? You have to have eleven for a royal flush. The, uh, right. he, he wants a royal <laughs> flush. Yeah. Yeah, he wants a royal flush. Well, maybe Renee will call. Hey, uh, by the way, um, speaking of Jerry Lewis, uh, <laughs> that's how that's how that's uh, that's my way of doing a segue. Speaking of Jerry Lewis, uh, did you hear that uh, uh, he made it clear in his will that he didn't want any of the children from his first marriage to get a piece of his estate? Wow. A good day. Yeah, that was like they said that yeah. right after he passed. The, so that means Jer that means Gary Lewis from the Gary Lewis and the Playboys, right? Right. Doesn't yeah. doesn't get a penny. Which uh, obtained wow. a, a copy of the last will and testament executed by Lewis in two thousand twelve reports he excluded the six kids from that <laughs> marriage from his will. Lewis states he intentionally excludes Gary Lewis, Ronald Lewis, Anthony Joseph Lewis, Christopher Joseph Lewis. Man, he was 
How many children did he have? Scott Anthony Lewis and Joseph Christopher Lewis. Oh, wait a minute. It was Christopher Joseph Lewis, and then there's Joseph Christopher Lewis. It's fucking names are all the same. From benefiting from his estate in any way, he notes that Joseph, who died of a drug overdose in 2009, is deceased. The report adds the comedian had all six of the admitted kids with his ex-wife, Patty Palmer. They were married in 1944 to 1980. Isn't that amazing? Uh, uh, one of the kids, Gary Lewis, well-known musician who fronted Gary Lewis and the Playboys for about a minute and a half. Um, this Diamond Ring. You know the song, This Diamond Ring, that he had as a big yeah. hit? Yeah. Who, who wrote it? Um, who wrote that? Same, Mary Manilow. The same guy, I think, uh, who also produced the record itself. Uh, I should know this. Very, I'm trying to tip my tongue. I can't say it. Very big musician. Yeah. He, he wrote a lot of stuff and yeah. really was kind of in the background. Okay, let me uh, n- let me let me tell you who Leon Russell. Oh, my there you go. Yeah. yeah, he had number one Billboard uh, number one hit, uh, "This Diamond Ring" in 1965. Boy, has it mm-hmm. been that long since mediocre music was heard in this country. Um, Lewis did leave a potentially massive estate to his widow Sandy, S A N D E E. Man, oh man, is that obnoxious. And states that the next, uh, let's see, that next in in line is their 25-year-old adopted daughter, Danielle. The blast wow. reports, Jerry and Sandy adopted Danielle in 1992, and afterwards the comedian reportedly cut his six other kids out of the will completely, or out of his life completely. That's oh, wow. a dick. That is a dick. Wow. That, 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 court, he was not <laughs> mentally sound. Huh? Yeah. No, they'll Probably fight court, it. He was not mentally sound. Yeah, they'll fight that. Well, I hope they win. you know, maybe they have had so little to do with him, they didn't expect anything. I you bet know? you didn't get him up for his birthday. What? <laughs> I bet you didn't get these kids no birthday gifts. Or shit. No, I probably didn't. <laughs> probably didn't. He sounds like an ass. Probably didn't send him a card, nothing. Fuck that. I'd have a fuck you, dad. What a fucking <laughs> asshole of a father. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see here. So that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, Jerry Lewis's will, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but he had. Hey, so, but Jerry Lee. Here's 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 the here's the, here's the part I don't get. Okay, he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids. Mm, that's a lot. Of children. He had seven kids. Um, the Irish. I mean, his wife stretch marks probably had an area code. Uh, <laughs> geez, almighty! Seven kids, the and, and, and he ran out. out. Of, he ran out of names because one of them was Christopher Joseph Lewis, and then he needed another one, Joseph Christopher Lewis. He's <laughs> reversed. <laughs> Maybe it came out backwards. backwards. Yeah, well, I think. I, I, I think that Joseph was the one who. Di- but I think that was the one who died of a drug overdose. So, if I had that name, I'd be, you know. I'd be doing drugs right away if my dad was an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you said he was a jerk, too. Yeah, well, they, they, I, they, they, I've never heard nice things about Jerry Lewis. Right. You know, in fact, I saw, was it an interview I saw with him recently? It was done about a half a year ago, in which he was sitting down and the guy said something about. Uh, uh, how do you, what do you think of Dean Martin or something like that? And he said, uh, I think he was giving like one word answers. And then after yeah, about yeah, five yeah, one that. word answers, he said, well, that's it. Goodbye. And he got up and left. Yeah. You, f- like, yes, I would have yelled no. back, you fucking asshole. Come back here and sit down. Yeah, I brought all these camera people. I brought all these lights. I even brought me. Now sit down and be a decent fucking human being. Yeah. And if he got mad at that, I'd get it all on tape and it would be gold. Hey, Alex, how can you speak ill of him? I thought he dedicated a song to you. Oh, that's right. Yes, but because <laughs> I, only that because was... I said something nasty about him. My mother used to cry when he sang that song. He, 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 said, he said before he sang, you never walk alone. I hope this is good enough for that disc jockey, is the term he used, in New York City. And I, yeah. what I had said about him was that he, uh, uh, while I, I, I praised him for the, for the telethon, I said, even though I think he's kind of lackluster when it comes to performing. 
And uh, he said, I hope I'm good enough to sing this song. It's for him out there. And I'm sitting there going, I think he's talking about me because we sent him that. They, the station had to send out a letter saying that I had said something bad about him because there was, what was it, the thing we had, uh, equal time or uh, f the fairness doctrine where you had, to, you had to send something out so somebody could have fair reply. And this station had been sued once by somebody who didn't get one of those letters. So anytime anybody said anything on the air that was negative about somebody else, they would send them a letter. So he obviously got this letter because he was talking about me. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, I, I never considered that. I, I considered it a badge of courage, but I never considered it a badge of anything else. Here's another story that's kind of interesting. <coughs> you all know who Marilyn Manson is, right? Yeah. Yep. Who he or she or it is, whatever. He, he <laughs> never quite figure out with Marilyn Manson. Just gave an interview that was weird even for him. Just a couple of the unusual moments being that he's blaming the Columbine school shooting for destroying his career and his revelation that the period after Columbine when he was regularly receiving death threats made it harder for him to do drugs. What? <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. Uh, uh, the uh, interview in the UK publication, The Guardian, can be read in its entirety. Uh, the author, Alexis Petridis, notes that in the piece that Manson became a focal point for anger in the wake of Columbine tragedy in 1999 after a rumor later proved to be false surfaced that the two young shooters were Marilyn Manson fans. In the interview, Manson says the Columbine killers give them the money and let them make their own choice, guns or records. If they had just bought my records, they would be better off, he adds. Honestly, the Columbine era destroyed my entire career at the time. Manson goes on to discuss the death threats he received after Columbine, especially in Colorado. My dad gave me the best advice. If people are going to kill you, they won't tell you in advance. I've always said that because I've gotten death threats. And the next thing you know, the station was calling out to you know the police and they were coming by and they were looking under trash cans and whatever. And I said, look, if the people want to kill you, they're not going to phone you in advance. You yeah. Know, a talk show host who got killed in Colorado, what was his name? I can't remember his name now. Uh, he, uh, he never got an advance notice that somebody was going to kill him. Uh, he adds, I don't miss that at all. It made everyone around me upset, and I discovered that the police bomb dogs and drug dogs, uh, uh, I, and I discovered that police bomb and dogs and also drug dogs so there were bomb threats and i had a very difficult <laughs> because the dogs were around he had a very difficult time hiding my narcotics oh. uh, yes. great. damn it i hate it when that happens yeah you, you just don't want it to happen right and finally this this final story for today the venerable TV game show The Price is Right is, as you know, now hosted by Drew Carey. And he announced that it made history on today's broadcast with a record-breaking showcase showdown. Has anybody ever watched The Price is Right? How can you not have gone on in this century and the century before it not watch The Price is Right at least once? I used to watch when I was in school. Today's broadcast with a record-breaking showcase showdown in which a total of $80,000 was awarded, the most money ever given uh, on the wheel. They have a wheel they spin. In honor of Drew Carey's 10th anniversary host, oh, uh, i got to answer the phone now because it's Brian. There we go. All right. Uh, in, in honor of Drew Carey's 10th anniversary hosting, contestants who spun $1 on the wheel received a $10,000 bonus instead of the usual 1000 the show announced in a promotional blurb posted along with a clip, if they spun another $1, they received an additional $25,000. Well, today, after an amazing five, $1 spins on the wheel, a total of $80,000 was awarded. And now people... Is that after taxes? 
What, what, what you, oh, a royal flush. Yes, royal we have flush. a. Yeah, that's the only sound effect we will allow Phil to play. Hello, Brian. <laughs> How are you? Oh, not too bad. Uh, just, uh, you know, yeah. another end of the week. Yeah, yeah. Although I work Saturdays. So, anyway, uh, let me see here. Any any other news I'm missing uh, here? We have uh, Puerto Rico is uh, no longer exists. <laughs> Today, today I, I, again, I saw a reporter uh, for NBC reporting from Puerto Rico. Now, I don't know if it's possible to find dry land, but he was standing in the middle of the water. Yeah. And, and when they do that, you just know they're doing that for the, the effect of it all. And I don't think, I find that a total disrespect for the people, you know, who are having problems in that part of the world. So. Well, you know, they did the same thing with uh, a reporter down in Mexico, right? They're digging through all this frickin' rubble, yeah. and she's standing there talking, and then all of a sudden they put their fists up and tell everybody to shut up, and they're talking back and forth saying, well, I'm not supposed to talk, but there's so <laughs> no, much stuff no, going on she's here. She's saying, I'm not, blah, blah, blah. I'm not supposed to talk. Everybody's being very silent. But I yeah, have to exactly. tell you what's happening here. And, and it becomes it, it, like a golf match. Yeah, but, but the, point, <laughs> the point is, you know the reason why everybody Nobody was quiet? So no, you know blessed. the reason why everybody was quiet was so they could hear if somebody under the rubble was going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm American. And, so and, and she's happens. doing TV, and that's more important than some little kid's life who is buried it under tons ridiculous. of rubble. Is it, I'm going to get her out. Fuck up. Yeah, what I, mean, I haven't figured sad. what I haven't figured out, Alex, is how they run these remotes via satellite, and there's no power on the island. Yeah, they go oh, here. Yeah, here's so and so. She can't even call her mom and tell her she's okay. But we're on TV. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot yeah, of these they uh, gave her American hubris. You know, some of these reports, believe it or not, are being done with iPhones. Yeah, yeah. Um, you or know, satellite, or, or yeah. satellite. They have satellite rigs and whatever. And they're very tiny and they're very small. Uh, but uh, still, I mean, I saw that, you know, Puerto Rico was pretty much underwater. Oh, that, that by the way, the uh, the, uh, the tapping thing, re women being quiet, was because it was in Mexico City where they're, try you know, they're trying to get rid of people coming out of the rubble. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I saw one network spending at least a couple of hours while they were trying to dig out some kids from under some yeah, rubble. Yeah, that was on NBC. Probably. Yeah, and I'm going, NBC. isn't that kind of exploitative? I mean, it's oh, yeah, not absolutely. It, It's not really, it's not it, really it's, making me more aware of the world around me by knowing that that's going on. It's kind of We've gone beyond news, and now it's all about sensationalism yep. and, and what makes a good video... Uh, reality show is really right. what it is. Exactly. It's been like that. Small ratings. Small ratings. It's been when like that, that ever since too. the news divisions were were folded under the entertainment departments at at the major networks. Yeah. And, and the twenty four hour news cycle. You can sit at a desk and, and have a graphic over someone's shoulder, or you can show them rescuing, you know, people that uh, during the the hurricane in Houston, you had a you had uh, Anderson Cooper in a helicopter. And uh, they're they're rescuing some guy and his wife who are on the roof of the house. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, how is this news? This is a rescue okay. operation. So why are we being apprised every second of a rescue operation? There are so many of them going on. There are other things that they should be talking about, but none of them with compelling video like that. So could that's you why imagine though, no, if that that earthquake yeah. hit Los Angeles and did that kind of destruction in Los Angeles, or that? Uh, hurricane hit Florida and did that kind of destruction in Florida that it did to Puerto Rico. How bad it would be on the news. Yeah. You know, I don't think that they're covering it half as much as it would have been. Ke been Kevin's there. been raising his hand. He wants to say something. What was, what was also brought up? I was watching that MSNBC uh, thing where they had the split screen, right? Mm -hmm. And they were just showing the the crowd and Ari or whoever was talking over it. There was no interview, but they were doing the split screen, and the, the gal that was doing the uh, reporting was standing there in the middle of all these rescuers and, you know, dancing around with the microphone and acting like she was playing baseball with it and tossing it around. It was like she was playing while all these people are running around trying to save people, and she obviously didn't know she was on the air, but she's sitting there going like this and 
and swinging the, the microphone and laughing and stuff. And I'm you, going, you know, how, you, how the hell can you do that? You know what I would do if I had one of these networks? And I know people are going to tell me I'm insane because uh, no network would ever do this. I would say, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to report to you what's going on in Mexico City. We're going to show you some feeds that we have from down there from, say, local Mexico City television organizations. But we're not sending anybody down there because we don't want to get in the way. Exactly. And I and wonder, I wonder the how the American public would react to that. Because everybody else is going to go down there. MSNBC is going to be down there. CNN is going to be down there. Fox is going to be down there. But maybe one of those networks said, we're not going down there because we don't want to get in the way. We'll go down there the when it's a would go up. Uh, I think I think the the trust factor would soar. I, don't I would know. think so. I don't know about that. I, I think what I you think so. I agree with Alex. I'm sorry I, to interrupt because you can't see me waving, but yeah, I, I agree with him on that because I mean everybody is just like, you know, think about it. Everything is just stuck on. Okay, we see Anderson, we see this person, that person, you know, dealing with the storms and they're overreacting that it's blowing them this way and that way but then meanwhile if someone just doesn't show up at all and and they just let the people come in and rescue them and everything i you know i think that would be because no no one's doing it now nobody's right doing as it. i say I I've, think- I've been in that situation when we had an earthquake mm-hmm. in san francisco and i know what it's like to have your your neighborhood inundated with uh, with with Animal news trucks. people when yeah. you're trying to save your stuff, when people yeah. are dying in that neighborhood, sure. you know, and, and and I always tell the story about how I was helping this uh, girlfriend out of her apartment, which had been redlined, which meant she had to get out of there, and we had all her worldly possessions in like a, a, a one of those little REO wagons, you know, one of those kids' wagons. And we're taking her stuff out, and all of a sudden, one reporter comes up, one reporter with a camera, and says, can we ask you a couple of questions? And she said, sure, because she was in the TV business, and she felt, hey, I want to help the TV business. And she said, sure. And the guy started asking a question, and I swear to you, out of nowhere, 20 other cameras show up. And it's 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 surreal. It's like I'm in the middle of a circular firing squad. With all these people, and and out of all of this, the guy asks one simple, stupid question, and the How simple, stupid question yeah. is: yeah. She said, she said, listen, you people, this is terrible. You're really taking advantage of a situation. We just had somebody die in that building over there. And and they they brought the person uh, they dug the person out from under the rubble, and the reporter says to her, "What did it look like?" Yeah, how do you feel? No, yeah. she, not how do you feel. What did it look like? And she yelled back, "It looked like a dead person." <laughs> Good for and, her. and then said, "Get out of our face!" And and when one left, all of a sudden it was like we were in uh, uh, sagebrush could have gone through. Yeah. There was nobody there anymore. Like, Alex, it looks like you. Did, no, it looks like the, the lady, right? It looks like you whenever you wake up in the morning and look in the mirror. I'm talking yeah, about the yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Back at her. Yes, uh, let's see. I have two hands up. First Jason, then Mike, then Jeff. Yes, I was Jason. just curious. Did Trump ever offer help to Mexico? No. No, not yet. No. That's good. <laughs> he did yeah, when I, when I, when Mike wait a minute Mike I mean Mike uh, Phil when when did he uh, give help to Mexico? Uh, he, uh, he offered help right off right off the bat. He said we're here for you. That was about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that isn't offering help. That isn't saying no, just, an, anything. By the you way, need. we need a wall too. Yeah, by the That's way, right. we're gonna we're gonna yeah. we're gonna forego the wall and take all that money and give it to you so you can. Can we clear use up all the, your rubble to build my wall? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so let's see here. Who was who was next? Uh, 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 Mike. Yes. Did you see that one with the helicopter with that lady and they uh, hold on to her kid? The reporters get all excited to see this helicopter. It's like, yeah, the ladies hold on to her gut. Damn kid, what else to do? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Jesus, right? We just leave it alone, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, okay. Jesus, Jeff. Jeff? 
I agree with you, Alex, that to minimize all of this stuff. Uh, I, I don't even like it when, when I'm on the highway or, and, uh, and somebody's having a small accident. Mm-hmm. And everybody's got to slow down and look at it and all that. Rubber cut, cut, cut it out. Yeah, I, I agree with the premise. What I don't agree with is it was it's going to be perceived it's going to be perceived as budget cutting. It's going to be perceived as oh, this is boring and no one's going to watch it. That's no, what but, I mean. But That's you why you, but, uh, but I agree with the premise. What though. I'm suggesting, though, uh, 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 Rob, is that you make a very definite statement about why you're not sending somebody out down there. It's not about the money, but it's about the fact that we don't want to get in the way. There are rescue how do you, effort. There are how rescue. Do you keep that, how do you keep that from being the story, right? Well, no, so, what you say how is... How do you make that the story so that you, you come on and you say, okay, uh, you know what, we, we've decided to do this for these reasons, and then you go on and, 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 and you're not... Unless you're constantly saying it, people go, oh, I want to, I want to see what's going on with this earthquake or this hurricane or whatever and then they see you in a you know you're 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 not there and unless you keep reiterating it it, it you know where we elected a guy by the name of donald trump who is all about the you know it's reality tv in the white house this is what people that's what people elected this is you know I, you're not going to get away from it that easily I, I just don't you know we've already passed that we've gone you know we've uh, gone past that well, I think well, you're right, but yeah. But what I'm I, saying I mean, is, Alex's point was that they damn were, you, Alex, okay. and your bounce of optimism. Well, no, no. But what, what you say there. is, you make <laughs> a point. You make a point of the fact. You, you make a point of the well, fact well, that it, in a situation like Mexico City, the time is of the essence. That the faster you can get to people and save them, their lives, the more chance they have of living. And that by being there, we get in the way. You know, we. And we can, do what you said yeah. is use a local feed and talk over that. You don't have to be there. Exactly. Here I've seen today, even today, they were, they're were they pulling you know chunks of rocks out and cars, and these guys are 15 people deep with a rope yanking these beams down the street, and you got Miguel, what's his name, running along with him. So why the fuck? Why is he running with him? Get out of the way. Yeah, well, either that, There's put, no put, put your fucking that. microphone down and help pull the rope. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Who had his hand up? Somebody had his hand up. Uh, I would. I had. Oh, that, yes, uh, Brian. Yeah. Well, two things I wanted to say. Yeah. Two things I wanted to say. Uh, one is, uh, like my uncle, I, I don't think I don't think I've said this before, but I do have a tendency to blurt things out and uh, kind of interrupt. I don't mean that to be rude. It's just I don't want to get it out, so I don't forget. And the, uh, so I apologize for that. If anybody is taking a notice of that offense to it. But the other thing is, uh, on a less serious note, you know, you uh, want to open up your own. You, you were talking about the uh, postulation of opening up your own uh, news network. I'm think I've always thought about opening up mine, which cowtails to the opposite. You know, the lowest common denominator. And I, I would call the uh, initials for uh, the network MWN, which would stand for Media Horrors Network. And the tagline would be, "We'll go. We'll do anything for a news story." You gave you just gave me a great idea for a uh, for a, a website and a web channel, uh, and that is an all news channel in which the reporters are the callers, are the people like you. Where you are now, we're 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 in the car with you, Brian, and we see you going down the street. What if we had somebody? If we made it known that we had this news network and that you're the reporters. And we had people calling us. Baba Booey, uh, Baba Booey. Well, I, that's going to happen, <laughs> of course. But you call you, it the Uber network. But you also might get somebody down in Mexico City who says, "I'm calling you by Skype so that you can see what's going on down here." You know, that, I, how do you? Uh, them. How I mean, do you verify? Uh, I think that what I think what you've got to do uh, is you it, 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 you have to put a caveat. That we can't verify the, what do you call it, the validity of some of these people. Uh, but, but nevertheless, occasionally you're going to get something that's a real scoop. 
You know. Well, that sounds more like reality TV than anything, doesn't it? Just yeah, like, you can take it too to. far in the sense that, you know, me being with that media whorish mentality. Oh, here we are, an accident on the Keys Rocks, which there was one as I was driving through here. Right? But, uh, you know, beside the, there's an accident on the Keys Rocks. And as you can see, as I zoom the camera in my yeah. phone, you can see the person's severed head rolling along the fucking <laughs> <laughs> and the baby spinal cord flying out of the window. <laughs> yeah. well, we We're going to put you in charge of CNN. But, 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 but imagine all these panels full of people doing news stories or, or doing one news story from several different perspectives. You know, it, 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 it's the just Yahoo's crazy. Stage it. I Isn't just, that what Facebook is? It, that, yeah, exactly. yeah, that's what Facebook is, but wouldn't it be nice if you could do it someplace where it all comes together, like this? You know. Well, how big? How big would it be? Would it be a local? Would it be national? Would it be the international? Wouldn't but, it? But somehow you'd have to let the world know it exists so they call you. But then maybe you'll get too many calls, and you know everybody's going, and tw and twenty of them are going ba ba booey. You know. Then you'd have to. Add then you'd have to invent uh, uh, then you'd have to invent something like Skype that would handle hundreds of calls at a time. Well, that's the problem. Uh, you know, I often wonder. I th there must be a way. See, I mean, if I had the money and I had the technology, I would come up with somebody who could literally build a system that would be able to isolate various Skype feeds so that we and somebody could clear the call somewhere else and they would come up here. Uh, but I'm not able to do that. Uh, that would be a real royal flush. Y y well, I mean, what happens is if you suddenly, let's say you're being inundated by, you get big enough and you're being inundated by 100 people trying to call you through Skype, uh, how do you then, you know... You just got to clear the calls. Yeah, yeah. how do you clear the calls? How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you, but how do you, how do you, if you're going to have, if you're going to get that big, you're going to have a, a, even if you had, 20% that's going to try to spoof you. And, and no, you have three or four guys that answer the calls. You ask them a few questions. If the guy's a nut, you know, you say, thank you very much. You put them on hold or you, turn, you, know, you get rid of them. Uh, you know, I used to clear calls. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, for instance, I know that I could be on, for instance, if, uh, if Jack right now wanted to sign on to Skype onto the GabNet live Skype. Uh, he could he could be on, and I don't know though because I've never done it whether he'd be getting all these pictures there at the same time that I am. We we had thirteen, and I got them all at one no, time. No no, you know. no 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Oh. But you're not you're not signing on to GabNet Live. Are you, in oh, other words, oh, I am oh, the repository. The yeah, I am the repository of GabNet Live. I, when I click on, I sign in, I sign in as GabNet Live, right? Put in the password, and there I am, and then I talk to you. G I found that sometimes I don't sign, I forget to sign off, and I see Amy calling in, I see other people trying to call in on the show after me, which, so my question is, could I have somebody on another computer over here also signed on here and be able to clear the calls? Uh, no, you probably just have to be yeah. the mo uh, have a moderator, and then you be uh, on the screen with everyone else. So uh, the other person would be the moderator in charge of the computer. Well, that's yeah, that's a whole different story. Yeah, it's too much trouble. Forget it. Um, <laughs> anyway, but, but that's how it used to be actually with uh, video cameras. You used to just call a telephone number, and that's basically what you're saying. If you had a telephone number and had multiple lines. You know, unlike Skype, you know, that's one presence as far as, you know, you have your your uh, ID that you go by. People are calling I'm, I'm trying ID. to remember what the fuck I ever did, all right, without um, without uh, without a cell phone. I mean, I know there was a time when I didn't have a cell phone, and you used to have a phone booth on the street corner. You put in a quarter. That was good times. Time. Uh, Who's remember pagers? Who, who said that was good times? <laughs> Dime, I said a dime. I said it was good times. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, is that Kevin said that? What's who, that? Who, oh, who uh, was that? Todd that said that? Yes. It oh, was okay. Good times when we didn't have that. I'm not as old as you guys, but I'm 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 fairly old. I'm in my forties. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was but, you right. know, I got to tell you, in some Close ways, uh, uh, certain things are a culmination of what I've dreamed about all my life scientifically. 
in that, for instance, my wife was in Hong Kong, and I FaceTimed her. And she could show me the, out the window, and we talked, and we saw each other. And she was, she was eight. It, it, I actually was able to go in to find my friend and find her in Hong Kong, <laughs> wherever the street was. And it said 8,800 miles away. Wow. And I mean, I'm talking to her and seeing her face to face, clear fucking video, you know, mm -hmm. just beautiful. And what happens if you use that? Time I, that puts phone. me. That makes me gasp a little bit. What? And, and she was in Westchester. Well, the fact, no, the fact, the fact that the world has gotten this small that she could be, say, in Yonkers, and look as good as she was looking, talking to me from, uh, you know, that far okay. away, you know. So uh, that amazes me. But the fact that I have to think that I, in my lifetime, I lived for a long time without a cell phone, that I had to be near a corded phone in order to call somebody. Yep. I remember saying it's to somebody, hey, you mind if I is, use your phone? Yeah. It's the same thing as 100 years ago when there were no cars, and all of a sudden the cars started coming out. We're just the pioneers in, in 40, 50 years when we're gone. There was they'll also, probably have teleport. By the way, like by the way, tracks. back then in Lincoln's time, they never questioned or talked about air pollution. They didn't talk yeah, about global warming. Yeah, they had dumps from the horses, and they were all oh, upset. The horses, the horses were a problem. The horses street. were a definite problem. Yes, Brian. And Alex knows from firsthand experience. Yes, right. Brian. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, you know, in your younger years, you may have, in my father's younger years, as he said it, that's quite the way I'm saying it, but in your younger years, you may have uh, hoped for Buck Rogers, okay? Yeah. But then, when, when, but then as you aged and things were coming true, they started metastamorphosizing into David Cronenberg. Well, no, the, yeah. I'll tell you, no, they, they, they actually more, uh, 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 transmogrified. That's the term you want to use if you're talking about electronics. Transmog well, I'm using a, the term I, I kind of invented this one, metastamorphosized group something beautiful into something ugly yeah well like, it, uh, it, yeah it, 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 like it, what what happened was is that the dream of buck rogers uh was replaced by the uh nightmare of aldous huxley yeah. you know i mean i mean buck rogers became 1984 was closer to the what what, what happened than the dream which was buck rogers uh, or Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon was another one of those. You, you know, it wasn't that long ago, 30, 40 years ago. It was, you didn't even have an answering machine at one yeah. point. You yeah. know, the phone rang. You weren't home. It didn't get answered. Uh, now, then you got an answering machine, and, and you kind of had to return calls once in a while. And it was okay. You know, I came home. I listened to the messages. Uh, if I wanted to call them back, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. Now, or you, or you did the the, the uh, thing where you knew because you didn't want to talk to them, so you knew you'd call during the day, so you'd get their machine. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Listen, I don't remember. I I don't remember prior to the invention of the cell phone, and even well into the history of the cell phone, robocalls. You know. Or, right. uh, uh, no, they were real people uh, making calls, is what it yeah, was. Yeah, and you could tell them to go fuck themselves. It's called yeah. prank calls. I used to make calls in the 60s, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, business calls. Oh, yeah, I'd call up and I'd say, uh, hey, I saw that ad in the paper for the, um, uh, the, 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 sw the swimming pool with the free swim ladder. Well, all I want is the free swim ladder. <laughs> in the paper, and I said, "Look, I'm looking at it right here." <laughs> you know, you, you you know, your refrigerator running. Order a pizza to your buddy's house. Uh, no, I never yeah, did that. The oh yeah, that, that, a that, bad that, number. Yeah, those were the things you could do with it with it with a telephone. Oh, how uh, I love caller ID. It means you cannot annoy me. Oh yeah. But, you know, now now everybody expects that you, you you answer immediately, you get back to them immediately. You know, I don't mm -hmm. even, I, you know, I have messages on my phone, but I don't well, I have... I expect a hand job and a happy meal, so I guess we're I'll both going to have to do it that <laughs> you know, I, I don't have... Fuck you, dude. I have a <laughs> on it. And, you know, people get upset. Which one's first? Upset. You know, I look at this... Oh, 
I look at these things when I want to look at them, not when people exactly. want me to look at them. My wife won't answer That's my great. phone, but she'll answer a text. Well, you know, the only, the only uh, uh, person who is closest to being an old fart like me, and he's younger than I am, so I should be called sir by him, is Jeff. Uh, and, and I don't pick up the phone every time. You know. I don't blame you. No, I don't either. Where's Jeff at? No, oh, the hell with it. Yeah. Jeff, don't I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. That's what's my. Well, I mean, thank God now for this new service that uh, Rob again turned us on to, where your yes. phone tells you when it's spam. Hiya, yeah. Yeah, Hiya, and there's another one I use called True Caller. I have both of them going. I have, uh, you know, they don't and, they, each other. and they still get it wrong occasionally. Yeah. They, Although they the other day I get a call and I didn't answer because it, it looked like it was a phony number, right? And then it rang yeah. again, so I picked it up, and it was this voice, and he says, Hi, what are you doing? How you been? And I'm going, I don't know. Who, I, who's this? <laughs> hey, oh, it's Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I had been trying to get a hold of Rob because I want him on the show. He's going to be on next week. But, I mean, sometimes it gets to the point where you see a number you don't recognize, you just don't answer it. Yeah, yeah I, I did that uh, the other day. My cardiologist called me at home. From her house, uh, from her cell phone, which she normally not do, and uh, I didn't pick her up at first. And I said, "You know, wait a minute, that's New Haven." I had to click on that. Sure as heck, it was hard. So I got it back on. It bothers me, but it does. It does bother me a lot that that uh, we have to worry about who's calling us now. I mean, and, and why? why text. And why we? Why we don't do something about this. You know, what I don't get is every time I have 500 people on Facebook, and when it goes down to 499, all of a sudden I start getting people who want to be my friends who are like these hookers. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about this before. <laughs> I mean, it's like I just pray that I finally click on somebody's name who looks like they have 10 other friends like uh, who know me, and I say, <laughs> would you like to join just to fill that slot up? Because... Just if it goes from five hundred to four five four ninety nine, all of a sudden I'm getting some woman with big tits saying, "Want a date?" You know, well, and I'm I going love those things. Huh? And if they don't have anybody I know attached to them, yeah, uh, then I just delete it. I know you delete it, but you if if you if I've I've only got one slot to fill. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been trying to fill it, bro. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, I, my hand. well, I just just <laughs> go on there and say you want to be my friend, and the next time it becomes available, I will, you know, instead of the hooker well, again. Been, yeah, I, I put mine up there on yours for like a long time. I've been listening to you from when I used to live in New York. Um, I know where you live. I know, I know, I know the, the building. You know, I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm on there, but I'm on the outside. Hey, it's time, yeah, right? Sorry. Yeah, Todd, uh -huh. I know the problem. You got big tits. That's why he keeps deleting it. Um, no, no, you just go on there and you just say, you just say, you, I'm a whole road truck driver and I don't have any tits. Say you want to say, say you want to be my friend, and it will go to the very top, and I, I will I will uh, click you on the next time there's a there's an opening. But I mean, the point is that I'm immediately there. it's like pigeons to popcorn. I get like five of these women. And I want to know yeah. why, and Facebook's got to know this is going on. They got to know it's going on. Just I like if, 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 Zuck, I if Zuckerberg, I, I would say that Zuckerberg was less aware of Russians buying time on Facebook than he is of hookers trying These to. These are Russian hookers. You they, know, some of them could be. Them through on purpose. There's got to be a way that Facebook can prevent this from happening. It's just a matter of building in they a program. Can't keep the Kremlin out. How are they going to keep, uh, you know, uh, Miss Two Tits? Yes. Uh, uh, let's go to uh, uh, Vernon. Vernon? I get requests like that on Skype. You know, these unknown women yes. saying, I uh, uh, want you to add me to your contact list. Yes. That, well, that, sites too. Be, Not just straight ones, gay ones, too. Oh, yeah. But, you, but, you, yeah. but I never get a get. Oh, yeah, I do get some guys. Yeah, I do get some guys. I feel left out. I don't get none of that. Well, no. It, yeah, well, 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 when you hit 5,000 and then it just goes down to 499, all of a sudden, anytime I see all of a sudden five people want to be my friend, I'm going, oh, it must have gone down to 499. 
you know, and uh, it, it, it's a pain in the ass. But why Facebook doesn't do anything about that? And why we can't do anything about robocalls? I mean, what benefit, do, what benefit they, do robocalls have to us? It's not that they can't do anything about it. It's that they're offshore. So they can't do anything about so it because the, there's, there's no jurisdiction. Well, maybe no, well, 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 then they should somehow be able, able to come up with ways to block these calls. Well, this is what I did at right. the store. I have an auto attendant. And in order, when you call the store, you have to choose something. You know, three for sales, 11 for fill. If you don't choose something. He only has five, two phones, but he makes it sound like he's got, you know. <laughs> But you know, the thing is, uh, it, it, all of those robocalls, they can't push three or 11. They can only, you know, some of them are trained to push one. But uh, for the most part, I've eliminated them by using this auto attendant. Really? Yeah. I've done my share of FCC reporting online, but it gets to be a pain in the ass every time you want to do that. Well, the FCC doesn't do anything about it. I no, know. you got to so go to the Federal Trade Commission. Yeah. I got a $35. Don't forget, don't, forget, don't forget these politicians and these uh, organizations, not for profits, are using robocall S tactics as well. Yep. And, they with are. The right. Sandy Dick, and with Sandy Dick Hairpie as our uh, FCC yeah, chairman, yeah. I doubt anything's ever going to fucking happen with that. Exactly. Of Sandy of Dick Hairpie, I love that name for him. Yes, uh, Jason. <laughs> I did. I joined a, a class action lawsuit against a, a company who was selling extended car warranties, and I got a thirty-five dollar check in the mail because wow. they called me when they weren't supposed to call me. Yes, Mike. Well, if you go to go to the FCC, you go to the uh, Federal Trade Commission. You file a report with them. And when you file the report, they'll keep that on record. And every time you make a report, you remember your number, you take it right straight to them. Well, that's they wonderful, but up. somehow that's I can't help but think, FCC, though, I can't help but th think, no, Mike. No, because the Federal Trade Commission is the one that you have to go through. Mike, I can't help but think, and this is just, you know, that it's kind of like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, where they're just taking we we have we're we're taking care of that right now, and they just take this thing and they bury it somewhere. Yep. You know. Exactly. Uh, yes. Yes. My, uh, Phil, I have a fax machine that's pretty active at work. A fax <laughs> machine? Who has a fax machine anymore? Well, fax? Did you say a fax machine? Yeah. So what happens is Do you I print your invoices on dot matrix too. <laughs> yes. And then, uh, actually, we still write it by hand. Huh? Uh, but Says uh, the guy who was operating ham radio. <laughs> so anyway, with this fax machine, I get all of these advertisements that I have to, that print out. And uh, because I don't send everything to memory first, it, it actually it, it prints out, you know, a timeshare or things like that. So it yeah. used to be worse. It used to be really bad. And, and you get tons of this stuff that you had to throw away and sift through. I remember that happening to me when I had a fax machine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. And then I got to pay for the paper for these sons of bitches, you know? Yeah. So why don't you get rid of your fax machine, bro? <laughs> paper uh, and the God. God. Yeah, it really... Uh, Wait, do you know how much money you will save if you just get rid of that? Yeah, it's uh, it's the way I send my purchase orders. I'm through. over the road in a truck, and I do not ever need a fax. No, but he's right. Email. He's right. Some things yeah, like purchase, or some things like purchase orders. They want a fax. You know? yeah. Yeah. Of course, you can do that through your computer because there are what they call fax programs that. Yeah, it will. gets lost in the shuffle. Uh huh. It, it, the, the things that are in the computer sometimes will get lost in the shuffle. Yeah. You know, there's so much crap. Uh, it, it, you know, you get the facts, you look at it, and you can deal with it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, on on to other things, Trump's a real asshole. Anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> any any new news? Not really. I well, mean, what, we, what we've got is Trump and Kim Jong Un in this schoolyard mm -hmm. fight, going, "You're a doo doo head. No, you're a caca poo poo." You know. Basically, that's what's going on. I wonder what they say on the phone when they talk. You know what gets me is they that... They don't talk on the phone. <laughs> no, fuck you. They use Twitter. He, he's worried about Kim, Kim Jong-un, who 
if you just let him go, if you just leave him alone, things will settle back down. Kind of like he's the not way. worried about, and he's worried about this wall in Mexico. But he's not worried about the biggest threat to this country, and that's what's going on with all of this Russian hacking into our elections, into our into our systems. It is so much more uh, important yeah. than any of that. Crap. They're, 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 they're not only hacking into elections. Trump did nothing about uh, Kim Jong Un and his atomic. Uh, 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 what could he have done? Which, what could he have done? He, well, he did nothing. He didn't call no, he, him little rocket. That's what he didn't he do. He did nothing. No, well, what, what, could, what could you do? What could you do? Bomb that minute, he's going to explode over it? the Pacific. What do you? What? What so could? You know, you're easy. being you're right. being unreasonable, right. Phil. What could right. you do? Not even Trump can do anything. No, it's we'll a see. sovereign nation that will do what the fuck it wants to do. He, and he then, have, if it does shoot a nuclear device somewhere and on a human population. The question then becomes, do you go in and decimate North Korea and the civilians there who had nothing to do with that decision? I think uh, if he does that, China's going to take care of him. I, got yeah, I like think that. you're right. Uh, I think you're right. I think uh, China would probably I, love I him. think Kim Jong-un Jong -un is reacting to what is, how can I put it? He loves he, this. He loves this. And it's, adu it's adulation by the president of the United States. You know these little tin horn. So, yeah, so does these Trump. Little, these little, I, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. These little tin horn dictators love nothing more than to think that they are the most important person in the world. Uh, Idi Amin I, was a good example of that, and they're all, they, they come along all the time. And the idea is that if you say you know bring them up in the UN. Or you give a speech and you mention his name and you call him something. All you're doing is giving him the very thing he lives for. It's the same thing Trump lives for. By the way, it's the same thing Trump lives for as well. I predict mm -hmm. Kim Jong-un right. will be dead in six months. I disagree. Can I wave my hand on this one? Yes, you can wave your hand on that, Todd. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Let Todd, let, Todd, let, Todd, let, Todd, let, let Todd explain himself. I'm just waving my hand on this. Um... I believe that Kim Jong Il, he's on. he's just yeah. Oh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> he's just like his uh, uh, his predecessor, the one on the opposite. Well, not predecessor. The opposite yep. side, which is Trump. No, I'm saying because they're both fighting and arguing, and they're both going to keep doing this. But what I also notice is China is backing up him, and then we got Russia that's really pissed off about them keep being labeled for all of the, um, the things going on and um, they don't want the area to be dis disabled at all so what's going to basically happen is that Trump is going to keep on running his mouth and he's angering everybody on the other side they already started to change money and, and, and stuff with fuel now so they're trying to uh, eliminate the United States on everything. So what I've been kind of sitting back watching is like, uh, this is not getting any better, and, and Trump is just talking about Rocket Man. And, ah, this is like you, Rosie Rocket. O'Donnell all over again. Yeah, but this is a big, exactly, and it's on a big a big forum. It's on a big Right, platform. it's a much bigger stage. Yes. Yeah, and it's a dangerous stage. Absolutely. <laughs> So as long I as don't. Kim, as long as Kim Jong Un <coughs> is, is having these conversations with Trump, nothing's going to happen. Exactly. You know? Well, I, uh, uh, all I know and is that that he almost uh, t Trump almost didn't come to New York the other day when he was told that he was going to be talking to the Un. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. It's a, yeah. a joke. Well, I and, oh, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm listening. Yes, yes, yeah. Jeff. Yes, Jeff. Jeff's got his hand now, up. This messing around with nuclear equipment is is a pretty dangerous uh, way to scare the crap out of the, out of the world. And then quite effectively, it could uh, make a mistake and, and, and all of a sudden uh, Japan uh, gets hit. 
Yeah, I think, though, the attitude of Kim Jong-un is that by saying he has a nuclear device, which he obviously has because we felt the, they felt the earthquake there, uh, and, and, and rockets and things like that, is that it's really a bargaining chip, he feels. You know, it's, it's a way that people will talk to him. And the fact is that, that uh, uh, Trump is giving him that satisfaction by mentioning yeah. it all the time. Yeah, I, I think they're both equal, equal to. Equal oh, absolutely, they're the yeah. same guys. Same guys. The same really guys. Trump was something? asked. Trump was asked at, while he was a candidate, "What do you think is the largest threat or the biggest threat to uh, to mankind?" And he said, "North Korea." Yeah, so I, that, that that took a lot of brains. Well, yeah. you know, he's addressing North Korea, and he's dealing with it, and he's not backing down. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I think he's going to see that Kim Jong-un is nothing more than a bully and, and will will back down. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, but wait a minute. Trump's but nothing Kim but a bully. I'm, hmm? I can't wave. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, yes, I'm go ahead, really Tom. Sorry. I, I'm going to learn how to get... Um, Skype. Yeah, so but, 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 uh, but just but Kim Jong-un, yeah. no, no, I, I, got, I got one for you. He done said that he does not want to end up like um, Libya and um, Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't want to do it. That's the reason why he's doing these tests. But he was doing it, you know, through everybody else. I disagree on everything he's doing. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I totally do. Yeah. Because, you know, but the simple fact is that he's using these uh, uh, tactics that he's doing so that he doesn't end up like uh, Omar Gaddafi or um, like uh, everybody else. It, it, it's crazy, but he's still here. He's still right now. He's still here. Right. Now, we got to deal with him. Now... But if you logically think about it, after everything that he's doing, which I totally dis disagree with, he's still here, and it's going to be harder for us to deal with him. But you know what? We've been, the United States has been trying for so long to remove all of these leaders. You know, it's not our place to, to my opinion, is to uh, remove all and exterminate all these people that we exterminated. We even had good things with um, um, with the people in Libya. You know what I mean? And and, and he dropped well, I, his I, I, I will dropped give everything. I, I will you give know? It. And look what happened. They 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 murdered and raped and you killed him all the way. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, well, Todd, I mean, Todd, let me, Todd, let, me uh, let me give you a good example of something. We're, I, almost, I like you call my name. Uh, kind of uh, cool. Uh, almost. You know, I I listen to you guys. <laughs> All the time for like many of years. Yeah. When, like, well, now you're now, now now you're part of yeah. the now you're part of the mediocrity, you know. But uh, yeah. I just got to make a point here because it's about time oh, to go. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. The, I mean, we yeah. were watching the beginning of this uh, massive documentary that Ken Burns has done on Vietnam, and he gives the history yeah. of the beginning of Vietnam. And the one thing that you walk away with is Ho Chi Minh was our friend. Ho Chi Minh right. loved us. Ho right, Chi right. Minh quoted Thomas Jefferson about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. He Wasn't based he his, well, let me finish. He based his constitution on our constitution. Yes, he he loved yes, he America, and we turned him into a mortal enemy. That's a good series. He did, he yeah. did that a lot, yes. I, I know that series. And, and, and we, we did it on a lot of our friends. Uh, that, uh, oh, uh, that were our friends that ended up our enemies. Allende, oh Allende, mm -hmm. we mentioned the other night in in, uh, in I think Chile, uh, uh, was replaced by uh, uh, oh, who was it? Uh, the uh, Pinochet. The Pinochet. Yeah, uh, I kept wanting to say Pol Pot, but that was in Cambodia. Uh, that, but that was another situation where we got rid of somebody and was replaced by Pol Pot. So, you know, whatever. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got a theme song running here, and it, it's time to say goodbye. But, boy, it's been a, been a fun night tonight. Uh, and uh, we thank Kevin for joining us. There's Kevin there. And we thank Jason. Uh, weren't you here last week, Jason? Nope, only oh, every other week. Only every other week. That's okay. what I'm allowed. Is, well, he's so pussy-whipped. Jeff, thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, Phil, thank you. thank you. Thank you so much. Tony, you haven't said a word tonight. Say something. Tonight, I enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 Rob, have a good time moving, and hopefully, maybe if, if, you, can, if you can call us on, on Tuesday, you can show us a little bit of your new house. Okay. And uh, uh, thank you, Jump. Mike. And thank you, Vernon. Always love uh, having you around here, especially tapping out that Morse code. There, there we go. And 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 Todd, Todd, call us more often. You're really terrific. And finally, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Why doesn't everybody just wave a big goodbye so that we can uh, get the fuck out of here? Goodbye and have a nice weekend, everybody. Okay, that's our uh, that's our citizen panel, and they're uh, they're getting uh, going away. Let me just uh, hang up on them there so that we can uh, leave it open for the next show to have. All right, I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you again. Uh, let's see next Tuesday. Uh, next on this program station is Amy, Jack, and Amy, and the intersection. And then at uh, one o'clock in the morning, it's connections. And in the meantime. Uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? All right. Bye. <laughs>